We've got a fun conversation today, football and food. As you know, the Super Bowl is coming up this weekend, but there has been, you know, high prices at the grocery store. People are feeling that pinch. Over the summer, we had 40-year high inflation, and while that has been cooling off, people are still feeling that in line at the grocery store. So how will those high prices be impacting Sunday's food? So overall, um, I spoke to some food economists and they told me that prices are up between 8 and 11 percent um, at the grocery stores right now. We're looking at about 11 percent for at-home food and about 8 percent for food away from home. So that's like when you're going to restaurants and, and whatnot. Um, some items we're seeing increases on last year and some items we're seeing uh, lower prices. A couple things that st- stood out to me, um, avocados are about 20 percent cheaper um, than they were at this time last year and chicken wings are down about 22% from this time last year. Nice. So it looks like you should have some guac and wings at your Super Bowl party. What else should you be eating and including in Sunday spread? So those are the two like biggest recommendations, things that are pretty starkly um, cheaper than this time last year. Um, In terms of alcohol, beer is up about 11%. Um, Wine is up about 3% and spirits are up about 2%. So recommending wine and spirits over a beer choice. And then um, potato chips and tortilla chips, which are obviously classics for the Super Bowl. um, Those are up 8 to 10%. So right on average with general food inflation. Um, So again, maybe some guacamole, maybe some um, veggies to scoop that up instead of tortilla chips, and you'll be saving a little bit more money than this time last year. So wine, wings, and guac, you know, that could start a new football tradition here. Who knows? But what foods should we be avoiding? Um, So I'd probably recommend avoiding some of those red meats. Those are up on par with general food inflation. Um, And instead, you know, choosing chicken, like I said earlier, chicken wings would be um, a better recommendation for your meats at this year's Super Bowl party. Can you walk us through how we got here? Why are prices so high the past year, especially now leading into kickoff of the Super Bowl? So it's it's because of a culmination of things. Um, first, we had the pandemic, which um, increased the price of foods. Um, and then that was due to the cost of labor and the cost of transportation transportation. And then when we had the Russian invasion of Ukraine, we saw um, the grain and wheat supply worldwide um, being hindered by that invasion since Eastern Europe supplies so much of of those foods. Um, So that's a second stressor that that got added to the system. And then the third thing is the deadliest avian flu outbreak the U.S. has ever seen. And so when you see these three factors converging, you see this significant rise in food prices. Is there any indication that these are easing? President Biden is announcing in May that he's going to roll back on uh, calling this pandemic a national emergency. The war in Ukraine has been lasting a year. And is this avian flu going away anytime soon? Yeah, so I think um, the findings of that these food economists that I spoke to have seen from, you know, looking at these Super Bowl numbers is that overall we're going to start to see a decrease in food inflation. It is going to take a little bit of time, but because the supply issue that we um, had before is easing, um, we'll start to see food prices um, decrease over time. And you can see some of those foods that I mentioned earlier, the guacamole, excuse me, the avocados and the chicken wings decreasing as kind of decreasing in price is kind of a sign of that.